Hello everyone and welcome to Otaku Go here on the Gunpla Network. As always, I'm The Spicer and today's unboxing and review of Taitao's third season Summer Hatsune Miku is brought to you by Chi Chi's Anime. Chi Chi's Anime is an online retailer that also frequents cons here in the US with a variety of options online as well as some exclusives for con goers. You can catch them at Kawakon in San Antonio, Texas later in February. With such variety online and in person, they're going to have just about anything you're looking for. When you're checking out their catalog, don't forget to use the promo code GUMPLA10 to save yourself 10% off. So overall, I'm actually really pleased with this figurine. I'm not a huge Miku guy, but honestly, at this point, you don't have to be to enjoy the Miku figures because they put a ton of them out a year. Some of them better than others, and I think this is one of the better ones I've seen. Now, as far as a swimsuit edition figure, or whatever you want to call it, goes, everything else on the figure is what pops. The body doesn't have a lot of shading. The swimsuit itself, while it does have some nice paint detailing and some on the frills, isn't really all that crazy. All the cool, visually interesting things are happening everywhere else. The ends of the hair, you fade from the blue to the green to this clear translucent green. You have the inner tube, which looks like it's actually an inner tube, but it's actually hard ABS plastic. Phenomenal that <laughs> they did that. Had some amazing paintwork, I guess. And then the jacket itself, not only is it really great in terms of its detailed wrinkling, but the color is very neon, very poppy, but also not overbearing. So y'all know me, I'm not a big box guy, but I can always appreciate box art. And this is a good representation of what you're getting in the box. I do think it undersells the inner tube, which is just something that I'm kind of losing my mind over slowly because it just looks really good. But you do get a good variety of shots. You get her from behind, you get a front shot, you get a side shot. So you generally have an idea, kind of almost 360 in your head of what this is going to look like when you get it out. As for the sculpt, it's actually done pretty well. As far as a price figure in a swimsuit, there's actually quite a bit of sculpt work here. Now, of course, being Miku, the hair is sculpted in a very over-the-top way, as you would expect, but it's done well. There's a lot of individual strands. It feels like it's flowing. It doesn't feel too exaggerated, but it also doesn't feel just like one giant clump of hair. So it's a good set of molds, right? Because they are each pigtail is different in how it's represented. The jacket's done incredibly well. All the flowing bits, you have the nice kind of push in the back towards the front with the inner tube. You have it bunched up around her arm and her shoulder. It is a lot of texture they didn't really have to add, but it is nice that they sculpted in all of those kind of ruffles and ridges and bunched up bits. You don't have as much going on with the swimsuit. You do have the frills on the kind of lining on the tops and the bottoms, and you have the straps as well that are in blue. That's a nice extra bit there, um, but it's really not got a lot going on, right? <laughs> a lot of these swimsuit figurines kind of go one of two ways, I feel like. Either they do something like this, where they're like, hey, Miku's going to the beach and you know, maybe she's kind of got like a, a sexy swimsuit, but it's not about that, right? They add the other things. They add the hoodie where they can put in that sculpted detail, or they put in the plastic work on the inner tube, or, well, I guess all Miku figures have the crazy hair, but, you know, Miku's got her hair. So you, you do have sculpted work in there. It's not a ton, obviously, on the main figure, but what is there is executed quite well. In terms of the paintwork starting from the head down, the sunglasses are actually kind of impressive. As far as a kind of soft sculpted thing on the head that's kind of minor, they didn't have to put the metallic blue on both sides of the lenses, but it's nice that it's there. It's a nice contrast to the matte blue hair on Miku's head, and that ties nicely down into kind of the tealy colored eyebrows into the nice deep blue eyes. The eyes are painted well, you have a little blush under them as well, and then you have her smile. Sculpt's not too soft, not too sharp, but very well done. And then you move down to the jacket. Now I think one of the things, as much as I like the sculpt work on the jacket, 
a little bit of paint would have went a long way here. But once again, it's a price figure. You know, it's not a scale figure and you're not spending, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of money on it. But you know, just a little bit of shading here and there would have went a long way. And that's something that I've seen price figures do. Now, once again, different characters, different brands. It's, you know, it is what it is. But I think that would have really accentuated all of the nice little folds and ruffles that are in the jacket. I would have liked to see the swimsuit have a slightly different finish as well. The ruffly bits look great. They're kind of a semi-gloss, kind of transparent thing going on. But it would have been nice to either see the swimsuit be a really glossy, high-gloss pink, so it would have kind of contrasted with the more matte blue, or go the other way and make it really matte so it stands out more against the plasticky shine of the body. Either would have been nice. It, it kind of blends with the body for me at this point, but once again, the figure isn't trying to make the swimsuit a big deal because there's not a lot, right? There's not a lot you can do with just bikini tops and bottoms, right? They're, they're kind of just there. I mean, I guess you could go to kind of more fashion-y, but as far as like molding plastic, there's just not a lot that you have going on. It's more of a paint thing. But overall, the top portion, the head down to the chest looks fine. Then you get down to the torso to the hips and once again, some shading work or just some kind of other paint on the body, I think would have been really nice. Price figure, different brands, I get it. It's not a huge deal, but it is something that I think would have made a pretty big difference from a visual standpoint. Now, once again, Miku's body, Miku's swimsuit are not what they're trying to really do here, right? They're not trying to say, hey, look at Miku's sexy, sexy swimsuit. It's hey, Miku's got crazy hair in an inner tube and a jacket. And, you know, this is something that uh, the swimsuit version of Ishtar kind of has the same thing going on. Like, her hoodie and her flag are the main attraction there. They're the big sculpted, bombastic part of the figure as opposed to, hey, look at her, you know, you know body sculpt, right? Now, I will say they did sculpt the body quite well. It's very well proportioned. She doesn't have, you know, crazy huge anime titties. And she doesn't have, like, really disproportionate hips or anything. It, it feels a nice curve. It makes a lot of sense. So, it, it, you know, it's not something that is overdone. It fits in with the rest of the details, the rest of, you know, the hoodie, the hair and everything. Um, but it's also not, you know, something they forgot about, right? They did put some attention into this. And you kind of see here the straps on kind of the blue on the top and the bottom you know they stand out color wise so there's a nice contrast there but it would have been nice to see a different finish either on the ruffles on the swimsuit or the swimsuit itself that could just be a personal thing but i think it would have kind of made up for the lack of shading on the body now i i will say that you know i'm still quite impressed with a lot of the detail work on this figurine as much as I'm kind of like there's no paint but you know it is something that personal preferences right I think overall this is a really well tied in package of a figurine well there are improvements that could be made I think you know the overall picture is more what I focus on but if you're someone that you know you have these on your desk or they're very close to you so you can see a lot of that then some of the paint missing or just some of the you know paint not being there right it's not necessarily that nothing was unpainted it's just that you know there are the opportunities right so seeing things on other figures make you think that but it's it's a personal preference that's what i'm trying to say and then the legs are kind of the uh i want to say the boring part but there's just not as much going on here right you do have the frilly garter which does it's not a lot you know it's not really noticeable gapping because it kind of ties in with the garter itself but it does look like maybe that's where the uh, leg attaches on it does come in boxes one piece but you know in the factory that's probably where they stuck those together uh there's not a lot of once again there's no paint down on the legs other than the sandals um and the, you know there's some definition you get some kneecap you get the calves but it's not overly exaggerated either and then you know the the shoes are fine they're sandals they're pink they're slightly different pink 
than the swimsuit. I think it's because they have a, a more matte finish on them, which is, once again, kind of what I liked to have seen on the West swimsuit. But it's, it, once again, nitpicks at best. Uh, and then you have the little ribbons hanging off the shoes there. The base is a nice clear blue that has a bunch of beachy themed stuff on it, which is nice to see, you know, for a themed figure like this, I think these bases are a nice little inclusion, right? It's not going to make or break the purchase of a figure like this for me, but it is something that's like, oh, well, it's kind of cool that they did that. You know, they, they put that little extra touch in there. Overall, as I've said, I'm actually really pleased with this. I think as a figure on a shelf, it looks great. It's a better display piece than a lot of the Miku figurines I've seen. I think the inner tube, the jacket, the hair go a long way there. I think if they really wanted to accentuate the entire figure, some shading on the jacket and Miku would have been nice, or some texturing or something on the swimsuit would have been nice to differentiate it. But once again, those are very minor details for me personally. Now, if you're a big paint person and you really shading is your, your ride or die, that's what you live for in anime figurines, then this may not be something you're as into. But I think overall, if you're kind of just getting into Miku figurines or figurines in general, and you don't want something that's like, oh, you know, that's too sexy, or it's like, oh, that's that's <laughs> questionable to have on your shelf if people come over, this is a good a good example of something that's not trying to like slap you in the face with it, right? It's like, hey, the the jacket, the hair, the inner tube are more of the attention, and then it's like, oh well, yeah, and the rest of it's kind of there. Uh, which once again sounds mad negative, but it, it's not. I think it's just overall it's a better package. And while there are some lacking things, that this is going to be more of a display piece than more of the the uh, Miku figures that I've seen just kind of browsing around in kind of the prize figure category. But those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below if this is a figurine you've looked at or one you have and your personal thoughts on it. If you have any questions, I'll do my absolute best to answer them. And of course, as always, friends, do your best to stay safe and keep on building.